Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be reviewing a very popular self-tanner. This is the Beauty by Earth Self-Tanner Tanning Lotion in medium to dark. I feel like every time I type in self-tanner on Google or Amazon just to get ideas of what to review for you guys, this is always one of the first ones that pops up and for some reason I just never got it. So I finally decided to do it and I'm going to review it for you guys. So yeah, that's what today is going to be. We're going to try this out, show you how it looks, let you know if it's worth your money in my opinion. So before we do, you guys already know the drill, please give this a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed already, just means the world. You're getting three videos every single week from me and just really helps me, so thank you so much if you do. But if you want to see my review of this self-tanner, then stay tuned for the rest of the video. Alrighty guys, so as usual, I am just going to read up on the details about this self-tanner, let you know what it's all about, and then we are going to try it on see what it looks like, see if I think it's good, if I think it's worth your money. Of course I got the medium to dark. There was like a light to medium and then this is the medium to dark. I was debating between this and the mousse because I feel like mousses are usually darker, but I was reading some of the reviews online about both and a lot of people said that this one actually got them darker than the mousse. So I was like, obviously I'm gonna go with this one then so I am really hoping that it gives me some good color I have plans this weekend so I am hoping that I get a good tan so just to read the the reviews just to read the description for you guys let you know like pricing I have it pulled up on the Beauty by Earth website so again this is the Beauty by Earth self tanner tanning lotion in medium to dark so it says sunshine in a bottle minus the damage, which I love. It says on the website that this is $31.99. So I would say standard pricing for a self tanner. And I honestly love the packaging of this. It's like a, like a plasticky kind of packaging, but this would be so nice if you were traveling because you, it like it's compact more so and you can move it around without having to worry about like the cap flying off and then the mousse getting everywhere because sometimes those are really messy so I do really like this packaging a lot and this is 7.5 ounces so you actually get a little bit more you get like an ounce almost more than like the typical self tanners that we review so that's really nice too like average standard pricing and you get more product. Who does not love that? So the description here says, want that sun-kissed glow but don't want to spend hours baking in the sun? Our clean self-tanner is the solution you're looking for. You'll get the beautiful healthy tan you want without exposing your skin to harsh UV rays or the dyes, fragrances, and fillers used in conventional self-tanners. This ultra hydrating self-tanning lotion has zero dyes or synthetic junk, all while giving you a natural looking glow. Perfect for getting a beautiful tan without the sun damage or harsh chemicals, blurring, stretch marks, scars, and veins, evening out discoloration for a healthy glow. And then the benefits are glowing, smelling like coconuts, moisturizing, and nourishing. And then the how to use part of it says, when you're ready, apply a thin layer of self-tanner evenly over your legs, arms, torso, and face, avoiding your eyes. Again, be careful when working on loose areas of the skin, such as elbows and knees. Those areas are more absorbent, so it's best to use whatever product is left over on your mitt. Wearing our applicator mitt or latex gloves can help you get even more a more even tan and will prevent colored palms. And then wash your hands, of course, right after. And then it says your skin should reach your desired color within six hours. Awesome. If it doesn't, reapply the following day. Reapplying every four to seven days is best for maintenance. And then just reading the back of this too, it's like the same thing directions wise, but it does say allow the self tanner to dry for 15 minutes before applying clothing. So this one is definitely not, I guess like the most fast drying of the ones that I've tried, like 15 minutes seems like a lot. And then on here it says reapply every four to six days. And it says, if desired color is not reached within eight hours. So I don't know if it's six hours or eight hours. It says something different on the website than on the packaging. 
I'm sleeping with it on overnight regardless, so it'll be on well over six and eight hours. So we'll see what happens, but that's pretty much it. So we could just start applying. I'm anxious to see how this looks and I'm really hoping that this gives me like a nice dark tan. By the way, I already put self tanner on my face, so I'm not putting this on my face. I'm just using a mitt that I have and I'm applying like I would any other self tanner. So I'll keep you guys posted on what I think as soon as I've applied. So let's just get started. Okay, so I just applied everywhere that I wanted you guys to see, and if you've been with me for a while, you already know how disappointed I was when I saw that it was clear. I mean white, it was like white. So when I first opened like the little like foil packaging part, I was like, no, I was so upset that it was going to be clear, but then like I was using like a generous amount of product, I would say. And honestly, like when you first start rubbing it in, it's like white. So you can see where you're working it in. And then after you've started blending for a while, then it turns clear. So you do get like a color. Like there is like a little bit of a color guard, but then it just goes away after a little bit. So maybe I'm not too mad at it. Like I was able to see kind of for the most part where I was blending everything in. So not as bad as I was expecting, but I definitely was expecting it to be like brown on the inside and I wish it was because you guys know I love that, but could have been worse. So I cannot complain, but the smell really not bad. It's super, super subtle. It does smell like coconutty, but it smells like, um, like a cream, like a lotion too. So it's really not bad. I like it and it's super subtle. So good things there. It felt really, really good going on to my skin too. So it blended in really, really easily. You could use a lot. You could use a little. Either way, it blended out very nicely onto my skin. It literally just feels like a moisturizer. It doesn't feel like a self tanners on my skin. It doesn't look like a self tanners on my skin. It doesn't smell like a self tanners on my skin. So it just feels really, really good. It literally feels like I took like a body butter or like a lotion after a showering and I put it all over my body. So it feels really, really nice. Overall, obviously I don't know yet how evenly it's gonna go on because there's no color guard. Like we'll see tomorrow what happens. But for the most part, so far, I'm pretty happy with it. Like everything went smoothly. It was super easy to do. So I don't really have complaints as of yet besides just wishing there was a darker color guard, but we managed, we made it through. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. But I am gonna sleep on this and then once I wake up tomorrow, I'll wash it off and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys the final result. So let's hope for some good color, but I'm going to sleep and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, I am back guys and I am so impressed with how this turned out. I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting it to be this dark on me. I feel like I got so much color out of this and I am super happy right now. Like honestly, I did have high hopes for it yesterday. I thought it was going to look beautiful, but I was nervous that it wasn't going to get me dark enough because it's like one of those like self tanners that goes on clear and those never turn out well. So I was still hoping it would look good, but I didn't expect it to be like amazing. And it is like, first of all, I was so nervous that it was going to be uneven because usually that's how these go. The ones that are like white or clear, there's like 9.9 .9 times out of 10, you miss a spot and you have just like a white patch on your skin. But I was like examining myself and I see nothing. It's so, so even everywhere. Like it looks perfect. I have no complaints about how it applied. 
it just looks amazing and the amount of color that I got is just Wow. I'm actually really excited because this is supposed to be like a clean self tanner So it makes me feel a lot better when I'm not putting a bunch of like harsh chemicals on my body Like when it is something that's a little bit more clean and natural It just feels better if you know what I mean. So Super super even it gave me great color. It's a natural self tanner. The smell just went away after a little bit honestly and It just looks Beautiful. It didn't feel sticky throughout the night. Like I said yesterday, it literally just felt like I had moisturizer on and It like dried down, but it, my skin still felt hydrated. So I wasn't like sticking to things But my skin was feeling moisturized and hydrated. So it felt really really nice Everything about this was really really nice like throughout the night. It was super comfortable. My facial self tanner actually matched match is my body. I'm wearing the um, San Tropez the new one like the tan tonic on my face and the Beauty by Earth obviously on my body and I feel like my face and my body matched perfectly when I didn't have makeup on so it gives you really really great color you guys I cannot stress that enough it's just awesome and for the price and for the amount of product that you get and you really do not need a ton of product in each area that you're applying to this is a huge, huge yes. Like, I'm so happy I tried this. I don't know why it took me so long to try it, but I'm going to be using this nonstop now because I just love the way that it felt on my skin. Like, there's just something different about a cream versus a mousse. I just, I still wish that it had a color guard, but it still applied perfectly without it and it looks amazing. So that's the only thing that I'm going to say about it, but other than that, it's amazing so I say yes big fat yes you need this in your life I'm so happy that I tried this so I recommend but that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed definitely make sure to comment and let me know what you guys think about how it turned out on me how dark you think I got I think I turned out pretty dang dark so let me know your thoughts let me know what other self tanners you guys want me to try Give this a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel, but stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next one.